On June 20th, 2023, Yi Heng Wang demolished the 3 x 3 ball record average to bring it down to 4.48 seconds. To put this into perspective, a 4.48 single would comfortably rank in the top 50 in the world for fastest 3 x 3 singles. This is now the first time in over 10 years that the world record average isn't held by either Felix, Max or Timon Kolasinski. How did Yi Heng at such a young age manage to take over speed cubing seemingly overnight? Let's take a deep dive into his meteoric rise. Yi Heng first competed in 2019. He attended three competitions that year and performed exactly how you would expect a new competitor to perform. He registered a 33.8 average for his very first competition and ended the year with a respectable 22 second average. However, the following year, 2020, everything would change. Yi Heng would come back with an absurd 7.85 average along with a 6.30 single. This drastic change in performance was an early indicator of the heights Yi Heng would later reach. Following this first competition in 2020, Yi Heng competed in one more competition in December of that same year. This competition was rather uneventful and Yi Heng struggled to achieve one sub 7 second solve. However, only a few days later, having just entered 2021, Yi Heng would find himself having his best performance to date. In the first round of the competition, Yi Heng demolished his PR with a 7.03 average, bringing him incredibly close to the great sub 7 barrier. In that same round, Yi Heng also managed to break his personal single record with a 6.20 second solve. Yi Heng went on to win the competition with a 7.95 second average. The cubing world would discover Yi Heng following this competition via a video made by well known YouTuber Brody the Cuber. This video was Yi Heng's first exposure to the global cubing community. The video reconstructed his salts from his 7.85 average and was the first time the cubing world took note of Yi Heng. As evidenced by the comments on this video, reactions to Yi Heng's young age and speed were prominent. Imagine this kid at 16 years of age, he would be like someone on 3x3. Crazy stuff has improved his tiger. In May 2021, at Guangdong Open in the final round, Yi Heng broke his PR average and achieved an incredible 6.28 average, securing him a place in the top 30 in the world. It seemed as though nothing could stop the rise of Yi Heng and that his unrivaled rate of improvement would propel him to the top spots of speed cubing. However, the pandemic restrictions were suddenly tightened in China and no more comp WCA competitions could be held in the country. With no competitions and unable to travel, Yi Heng's momentum was brutally stopped. Despite this, he kept on practicing daily and his improvement did not slow down. During these long months of absence from competing, videos of him practicing were sporadically shared by his mother on his social media accounts. These videos showed Yi Heng carefully planning his songs and repeatedly drilling his PLLs. His unwavering commitment to his craft was sure to pay off and his return to competition was highly anticipated. Yi Heng was originally expected to take part in the Oceanic Championship 2023 where he'd go up against the likes of Felix Zemdegs and Leo Borromeo. Unfortunately, due to visa issues, he was unable to travel to Australia and therefore unable to compete. His long-awaited return was postponed to February 2023. Yi Heng signed up to Singapore Championships 2023. This competition was absolutely stacked with some of the fastest speed cubers in Asia. But Yi Heng was most definitely the star of the show. In round 1, Yi Heng broke his PR average by close to a second with a jaw-dropping 5.44 second average. Adding to this amazing average, he also secured a 3.95 single on the fourth solve of this average. In the second round of this competition, Yi Heng broke the Asian record with a 4.91 average only 0.05 seconds away from the world record at the time, 4.86. Yi Heng went on to comfortably win the competition, clearly showing that he was the real deal in Asia. This was most definitely Yi Heng's breakout competition. Following these amazing performances, Cubers quickly started making comparisons between him, Max and Timon. Yi Heng aimed to shut down the debates as rapidly as possible. In fact, in his very next competition, Yi Heng actually broke the world record, but his record was overturned as one of the solves was actually a misscramble. To any speed cuber, such an event could be a big source of frustration. However, Yi Heng seemed relatively unaffected by it, and he appeared in a video only a few days later after the competition in company of his mom, calmly explaining the misscramble situation. Confident in his ability, Yi Heng waited for the next competition, and his next competition would finally be the one. On the 12th of March 2023 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, 
in round 3 of YJ Kongung Open. Yi Hang broke the world record average with an astonishing 4.69 average. Still only 9 years of age and now with a world record average, Yi Hang was the natural favourite for the upcoming WCA World Championships in August in South Korea. Many still doubted his ability to cope with the pressure of competing with world class cubers. For his very first major championship, Yi Hang did not disappoint. He comfortably won the first round of 3x3 at Worlds, showing that he was very much still able to dominate even on Cubing's biggest stage. In the semi-final, with only the 16 fastest cubers in the world advancing to the final, Yi Hang looked completely unbothered and got an incredible 4.84 average, the only sub-5 average in the whole world championships, and qualified as the first seed going into the final. Whilst numerous top speed cubers missed out on the final like Leo Boromir or even Sebastian Weyer. After the semi-final, it seemed clear that Yi Hang would likely dominate the final and be crowned world champion at only 10 years of age, 5 years younger than Max Park who became the world champion at 15 in 2017 in Paris. However, following the most epic final in cubing history, it came down to Yi Hang's very last solve to decide whether or not he would be crowned as the 2023 Rubik's Cube World Champion. Yi Hang only needed a 6.04 single or better on his last solve to guarantee himself the title of World Champion. But in a shocking turn of events, Yi Hang wasn't able to smoothly execute his last solve leading to a 6.47 and putting him in second place behind Max Park. Yi Hang's mother and his coaches aggressively complained to the Korean organizers requesting that the last solve would receive an extra as they believed the spectators started making noise as soon as everyone realized that Yi Hang was not going to get the necessary time to be the world champion. Despite this, the result stood and Yi Hang was, was officially the vice world champion, which remains an absolutely incredible performance considering his young age and the fierce competition. Yi Hang also placed 4th in 2x2, two two, just missing out on the podium, but soon Yi Hang would also take over 2x2. Two two. Following the world championships, Yi Hang continued to compete all throughout Asia and perform incredibly well with close to half of his averages being sub-5. Yi Hang even managed a pure sub-5 second average meaning that all 5 of the average solves, including the worst one, were below the 5 second mark. It was apparent to all now that no Cuber, not even Max or Timon, were really close to Yi Hang's 3x3 ability. Likely bored by his incredible dominance and waiting for his next major championship, in early 2024 reports came out that Yi Hang's training focus had now completely switched from 3x3 to 2x2, and this new focus on 2x2 showed as Yi Hang broke the world record average by breaking another unthinkable barrier with the first ever sub 1 average. Although this average was subject to a number of controversies, it remains that Yi Hang technically was the first to break this one second barrier. Just this past weekend, Yi Hang found himself in the position to once again break the world record average in 2x2, as after his fourth solve, he had a possible best average of 0.76 and only needed a 1.01 to break the current world record average. To really understand how absurd the possibility of a 0.76 average, many countries in the WCA do not even have a national record single of 0.76 or below. Yi Hang will now likely compete in the Asian Championships in Malaysia in November giving him the opportunity to, to get his first major title. His dominance seems unparalleled, and despite the numerous other cubing prodigies emerging from China, no one seems to truly be on Yi Hang's level. While Yi Hang ultimately surpassed Felix Zemdex's legacy as the go to speed cubing, that seems very unlikely considering everything that Felix Zemdex has brought to cubing. However, with an additional 5 or 10 years of absolute dominance by Yi Hang, the debate between Yi Hang or Felix could seriously become a thing. Yi Hang's rise to the top of speed cubing is incredibly inspiring and shows that speed cubing has truly entered a new era. This was Total Speed Cubing Productions. If you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care and bye.